Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5 verse 16 Jesus told his followers to let your light shine before others, calling us to live an active faith, not a passive one. He is calling us to put our light on its stand. Your circumstances are an opportunity to shine brightly for the Lord and to share God's overcoming power with those around you. Your family and your community should tell what you believe by how you live. In today's prayer focus, we reflect on the topic, being the light of God, and why that is so important in a dark and dying world. Are you walking in the light as his dear children? Join me for the next few minutes as I reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer. What does it really mean to be the light of God? Please share your thoughts below in the comment section. Like me, you may be saying to yourself, I see darkness in my own life. How can I be light to anyone? God is not calling us to be light in our own perfections. We don't need to know the whole Bible or have our lives all figured out before we minister to someone. The most powerful declaration that we can make to those in darkness is that we were once in darkness, deep in sin, but we experienced God's marvelous grace, His love, His mercies, His forgiveness, and now His light lives within us through the Holy Spirit. We have become a new creation, a brand new man. Old things have passed away and we are born again. We are the light of God because God is light and He lives in us. Not in our own strength, but because His strength is made perfect when our strength is gone. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of His servant? Let the one who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. You see, friends, if we are going to be God's light, we must rely on Him. John says it in 1 John 1 verse 5 to 7, God is light. In Him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with Him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as He is the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. As you go throughout your day today, remember that you are called to be the light of the world and more so now than ever. Being God's light simply means praying for your non-believing friend. It simply means loving the forgotten. It simply means being compassionate and patient with others. Simply being like Jesus when he walked here on earth. Would you be the light of God today? Join me in praying for these requests. Pray that our life give evidence to the world that we are the chosen vessels of the Lord, that we walk in God's light as his dear children, that we will be true to his covenant as God is true to the covenant that he has with his people. Pray for the church members living in Costa Rica. Pray that there would be church growth, increased commitment to God and service, as well as punctuality and consistency in attendance. And finally, pray for continued provision for those who are losing jobs, getting laid off, or wondering how to pay rent and utilities and buy food when they can't go to work. Let us pray. Dear Most Righteous Eternal Father, Lord, we are so grateful for life this morning. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up in our right minds, body, and spirit. Dear Lord, thank you for this reflection, reminding us that we are to be your light in this dark world. You've called us to be your light so that others may see your good works in us and glorify you and recognize that you are God and you are able to save every single person. 
in a special way, Lord, for every prayer request that has been mentioned. I pray, Lord, for your divine intervention. We pray, Lord, that you will work things out for those who are have been laid off, for those who would have lost their jobs, Lord. I know it must be difficult, but send provision their way, Lord. Provide for them, and we pray, Lord, that their store baskets may never go empty. In a special way, continue to help us to be light wherever we are so that others may come to you and experience you for themselves. All these we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks for praying with us. Join us tomorrow morning as we reflect on the topic, God is my salvation. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and participate in the discussion by leaving a comment down below. Stay connected with us by following us on all our social media platforms at Shirt with SDA Church. Until next time, walk good.